So this morning Stuart's coming along with my niece Chloe and her boyfriend Liam. They've just moved house. They've got some crap in the old house that they want rid of. So I'm going to jump in the van with them. They're going to do a tip run. I'm on a scavenge. I've heard there's a washing machine there, which I'm going to get if there is. I can use it for parts. And we'll see what else there is. And then also, uh, a chap got in touch with me on YouTube called Darren. He's got a 400 litre stainless steel tank. I'm going to go and pick it up this afternoon. Thank you very much, Darren. <laughs> the van Stu's picked me up oh you can't have radio on dude so we're off to Chloe's where does Chloe live then uh, Caledonian Caledonian Road near Oakland's and she's moved to the back of um, Morrison's garage pretty much oh it's not too far then yeah. right right on Kettle of fish. Is that the guy yet? Yeah, I can get there. Guy yesterday that started to use that digger, I was like, it's him up top actually. I thought, fuck's sake, it's like, like the it's like they chose the thickest person to. <laughs> They're not gonna let you back in here when I publish this. <laughs> <laughs> thickest person to use a digger. Swing it wide, that be. Just a couple of scores from Chloe's. Chest of three drawers. A vacuum pipe, which I'm hoping to use as dust extraction for the tools that we previously bought. It's got a big end on it, like it's off a, it's off a Henry Hoover. And uh, an old Ryobi router. You know, I've one router for three years and then you get three routers in one week. Madness. Right, so we've dropped that stuff off for Chloe and I've got the van off Stuart to go across to Derby and pick up this stainless steel tank. There's never a moment's peace though. I've discovered a fault with the van's lighting system. Stuart's been driving around like this for God knows how long. Okay, so we're in the cab. We've got the lights turned on down here. And I'll put the right hand indicator on. So you can see through the window, the right hand indicator is flashing. But if you look, now she's started to kick off and at the back, you'll see what's going on. And if I flick that across and turn the left hand indicator on, there you go, you can see that she seems to be flashing fine for a second but then the pace picks up of the flash can you see how quickly it's going and you can see at the back that the wrong one's flashing so I'm removing the wing nuts now I'm removing the light fitting from the van wow this is absolutely shocking I'm 
excited folks, I've just got back from meeting Darren in Derby where he was kind enough to sell me a 400 litre stainless steel tank. I'm going to open the doors, bring it off the van. Thanks Darren. <laughs> just about light enough to pick up on your own, but you don't have a diving bike yourself. So there she is, she's a hundred litres bigger than the old Ardle Valley tanks. She's pretty good quality I think, I'm looking forward to fitting her out. Cheers buddy. Right, just got in, tripod, camera bag, bottle of wine for later on. I've not had a run today so I'm going to get myself quickly changed. It's exactly half past seven. I should be back in the house before eight o'clock, two miles out of the way, boom. And then I'm opening that bottle of wine. 7.38, I'm out the door. The one time I'm timing myself, it's just gone. Eight, it's one minute past eight. That was 17 minutes 59 seconds for two miles. But the phone died halfway around, so I had to sort of reset it again. God damn it. And then I had like a 10 minute cool down walk to come back here. I'll tell you what I did see though, there's an absolutely fantastic moon outside, so I'm gonna set up set up the uh, 200 millimeter lens and leave you that and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>